Welcome back. Today we are taking a look at KDE Plasma 6.5. I went ahead and booted into Catchy OS just to give it a check. So we scroll down here. I'm just going into the settings real quick. And as you can see, it's KDE Plasma 6.5. And something you do notice is it's rounded at the top and rounded at the bottom. So, and even in the files, it's the same. So that's a nice uh, different touch that they've added there. The other thing that I do like on here is when you're in your colors and themes, you have, you know, your normal themes that you can do, but you do also have the day night cycle, which you can set here based on devices location. And you can honestly set custom, times on here also but you have the device's location and something that this allows is when you're in your wallpapers I have currently the default wallpaper here this here is based on whether the color scheme is dark or light but I can also set this to based on the day night cycle and I can hit apply and it switches it to the brighter version. You can always do always light vibrant or always dark vibrant. So if I go here based on the day night cycle here really quick and then go into the, the day night cycle really quick. If I go here and just set, let's see, transition duration. With this, you can change your stuff here. You can do a specific setting. Like right now, I can actually set this to the, let's see, let's set sunrise to 10. Whoa, let's set this to 10. Oh, it's 24 hour period, huh? So 10, 30 AM, <laughs> right? And if we change stuff, the wallpaper right now is still set to dark. But that is one of the things that I do like with this is being able to change your cycles and everything. You know, you can set it to the day night cycle, you know, and now that I've got it set to sunrise at 1030 in the morning, it's now dark, right? So. If I go back to the day night cycle here and I set this to, let's see, let's just set this to 5.30 a.m. Apply, changes that. We can just set it to device location, leave it like that. So with that, you know, I do like that you can have the wallpaper change and still have your dark theme set up under KDE Plasma. There are a few other settings in it, like the zoom settings will zoom in and stay locked to where you're typing. The HDR settings for it have actually been updated also. My monitors do not support HDR, however, but I do know that it has been updated with a new tone curve settings that they use. So if you do have a HDR capable display, it will do better job with a uh, tone mapping and everything. The one issue that I did find that has been present in KDE Plasma since it's switched over to uh, Wayland is assigning color profiles for your monitor. If you use something like when I did photography, I still have my color monkey display color meter for calibrating and profiling of the display. If I set this, I don't know if it's going to come through, but I went ahead and recalibrated the monitor just to see. When I hit apply, it shifts the monitor toward a blue colored hue. Now, I do notice that that does not come through on the video, but I will show images here of before and after just to show the difference that it is making. So I'll just undo that and go to none. So color management is not fully fixed. And in my opinion, you do need full color management for HDR to truly be proper. But that is something I do plan on looking into with the HDR as I am going to be switching out my 
to 4K monitors to going down to 1440p. And I'm going to be buying monitors that have 10 bit color and HDR. So we'll look into that in the future because I do want to start playing around with some of the HDR features under Linux also. But that's just my very quick look at KDE Plasma for uses that I have for it, which, you know, the color management side, still not fixed. You can make color management work by installing color D dash KDE and then running Plasma under X11 and then color management will work, but then you lose the advanced features that you get under Wayland, like the HDR functionality. You know, I don't know how many Linux users are using that, but I've been thinking about getting into it and uh, setting up OBS to actually record HDR content for the channel for like if I do some gaming and stuff. I might do some HDR content for people that would like to view some stuff in HDR, but let me know of anything you'd like me to test. Uh, I do hope that with Fedora 43, Plasma 6.5 does get packaged with it because the startup time has been shortened on the startup animation through SDDM. So it gets to the desktop extremely fast. It's honestly on my system, it's so fast, I don't even get to even see the animation anymore. So, but let me know what you would like me to test on this. Um, probably won't be doing any full testing of it until uh, it gets mainlined in hopefully Fedora 43. But let me know. Put in the comments what you'd like to see. Any comments of uh, future content you would like to see me test out. I might do some benchmarks between Catchy OS and uh, Fedora under the gaming side, but like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you later.